Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 23 to Let's Make Rust. And in this episode, we're going to be beginning our inventory system. So we're going to be um, very simply making the canvas for, and setting it up for programming. So in the next episode, we're going to actually begin the programming. This is just setting up the inventory is important um, for the programming aspect. So this is what it looks like for now. It's very simple. It looks just like the Rust one, um, except at the moment we don't have the armor. Um, the armor tab and the um, crafting tab, but we will definitely have those eventually. And so yeah, this is what we have for now. Um, enjoy the video. All right, so to get started, uh, I'm actually going to make a new canvas. So we're gonna go right here and create a canvas. And it's going to be called our inventory canvas. Okay, so inside of our inventory canvas, we are going to make a panel so I'm going to make this panel and this is going to be the background of our inventory and I'm going to show a picture on screen right now of the uh, Rust Legacy inventory so we're trying to go for something that's like this so I'm going to have to make this kind of it's going to be kind of in the same shape like this so I'm just going to scale this something probably yeah, something like that bring this in a little bit maybe not I'm trying to think about how we could do this. And then I'm just going to center this. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah, we want this to be bigger. And now we center it. Okay. Okay, now I want it smaller. <laughs> just adjust it to kind of the way that you think it should look. And I think this will be fine. On the left side, we're going to have the same thing. We're going to have the armor panel. And on the right side, we're going to have the crafting panel. So this panel is our inventory, and we are going to change the color to a gray, and bring the alpha up all the way. We want a darker gray to kind of emulate the original rust, and we're going to take off this background source image. I think we could do that, make it none, and as you can see, it's just like a gray box, just like the Rust Legacy. And we want to make this a little darker. Again, we're trying to emulate this to be just like the Rust Legacy. So, okay, so that should be good. Inside of here, I'm going to make another panel. So a UI panel. And um, in here, we're just going to scale this. So maybe 10, 10 everywhere. Okay, so that should be good. That should be enough of a space. And I'm going to hide the image for now. We might want it later. Depends. You could hide it. You could remove it. I'm just going to hide it and close it up like that. And inside of here, this is going to be called our slot or our slots. Okay. Inside of our slots, we are going to have our, you know, our actual slots. So we're going to make an image and we're going to make this a little smaller. So something, something like. 60, 60 by 60 should be good. And we'll, we'll do the math in a sec. So we'll kind of um, see how this is going to fit in. There are one, two, three, four, five. There are six, it should be six by six by five. So we'll adjust that in a sec. Um, just do however you think looks best for now. And I'm gonna take the color of this and I'm gonna make it a very dark gray. So it's gonna be just like the rust one. And we're gonna take this and inside of our slots, we're gonna have a grid layout. And I guess here is where we could adjust the size. So maybe something like 60 and 60. Just the spacing to however you want. Spacing. I don't know why it's not really doing anything. Yeah, it's not doing anything. I don't understand. Oh, right, I'm being so stupid right now. That's for when we have other slots. So this is our slot and I'm gonna duplicate it. And over here in our spacing, we can, you know, do that. So I'm gonna keep making these slots and we're gonna do the same thing on the Y. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a little extra here. So we could either make the slots bigger. Let's see, 60, 
7. That that should be okay, and then I'll just kind of scale this in. Make this bigger for two more slots. So that should... It works, but it doesn't look nice, so we're going to adjust the inventory again and just bring this down to something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this 100. That should be fine. Um, this will actually work for now. We just have all the slots filled up. Um, I might make the top bigger because and put the title inventory just like it was in the Rust Legacy. We could just take this and increase the size a little bit and take our slots and just bring them down so something like that that looks fine no actually I want to bring it down a little a little more so it's something like that and we can put inventory up here so in our inventory i'm going to make a text i'm going to put it in the top left and center it it's going to say inventory maybe to the left a little bit more Okay, so that should be fine. Make it white. How was it? Okay, it was all caps there. And I think that does look nice when it's all caps, but they had a different font and whatnot. That's okay. This will be fine for now, and then we're going to have our armor and our crafting. It's going to generally be the same. So I'm going to name this inventory text. And inside of our slots here, we have these slots. So I'm going to take this slot. I'm going to remove all these other ones for now. Okay, I'm going to go to our prefabs and I'm going to create an inventory folder. And here is our slot. Okay, we're going to need that because we're going to be instantiating um, items or we're going to be instantiating empty slots onto our slots, can uh, onto our slots panel. That also works well for if we're saving, we can check what the item is inside of slot. So in here we can actually make another image inside of the slot and make it smaller, something like that. I'm thinking even smaller. And here we can put any sprite, like just to show that this could be an item. So this is just to show an example. Obviously this is not what it's gonna look like. Um, this is just to sh uh, see if it'll fit inside there. And you can see that we can call this something like item and apply and if there's no item this will be unchecked and we can change the source image depending on which item is which item and that's all programmatical and we're way blah excuse me we will work through that in the next episode this episode i just really quickly wanted to set up the inventory so that we have a very simple system like this where it just it can automatically adjust and lay out our items or our slots correctly in our inventory. So this is what we need to get started. In the next episode, we're going to be going into some programmatical things. Um, I, I'd say two or three episodes and we're going to finish up the entire inventory. Um, it's not that hard of a task. It might sound hard to do, but it's very easy. Trust me. And we're going to get that done. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments. Subscribe for more and have a good one.